Uh, I'm Trooper Green I, and I'm a gunner in the Royal Tank Regiment. It's my job to sort of take down targets, um, sort of scan and look for the enemy. I've interviewed uh, Britain's top male tattoo model. What's the story behind these tattoos? Uh, I've got this one. Uh, it was after Afghanistan. Uh, I've got this. It was sort of like the meaning behind this one is a boy becoming a man. Um, other tattoos of, uh, of friends that have done it for me. So that's just that little personal touch. I came in as a boy, but I came out as a man. Yeah. Can you talk us uh, through? Yeah, basically, yeah, I joined the army at 16. Um, sort of, yeah, as a young lad, sort of happy-go-lucky, just sort of like took life as it was. Thought I was, thought I was a big lad. Uh, and the army changed me. Yeah, the army like going through, they sort of made me into more of a man, um, more respectful, uh, respectful. Uh, yeah. Uh, Word man up, men are finding offensive. Would you find that offensive? Uh, man up? No, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a term that gets used quite a lot in our job. So uh, what does it mean, man up? Basically, just for, for me, just to sort of like suck it up, take just take every challenge head on and do your best. Uh, that's that's sort of like my uh, intake on it. Define a confident man. <sighs> Confident man is someone that can, uh, like I said, they just take challenges on. Um, some of themselves, someone that doesn't have to hide behind, like no disrespect to your models, someone that has to hide behind a model, the six pack, I want to look like this guy, I need to have this, just someone that can be themselves. Oh, hairstyles, um, like um... My hairstyle is off the, the film Fury, where Brad Pitt had the, uh, the tanky haircut, uh, so I kind of went for that look. I don't pull it off as well as him, he's a good looking lad, <laughs> but, uh, but I tried, I tried. Um, what's your David versus Goliath moment um, in your career? It was probably going to Afghanistan at a young age. Uh, How was, old were you? I was uh, just turned 19, oh. just turned 19, uh, so that was kind of it, but the lads, the lads sort of get you through it, everyone's like a family, everyone's so close together, that's, that's what gets you through it. Can you talk about the moment you just land into Afghanistan? Because nothing prepares you for that. No, you know. It's hot. It's, that's, <laughs> it's hot and it's it's dusty. It's sandy. And it's, there's a quite a weird smell to it. It's quite a bad smell. But uh, but yeah, it's just the fact that it's hot. It's just you take everything all in. It's not like a holiday hot. It's just like you're all in your your, your army clothing. It's quite heavy, quite quite thick. So yeah, so you can just feel the heat and you just think it's going to be a long couple of months. Um, if someone wants to be, you know, there are young teenagers watching, wanting, want, wanting to be you. Just go for it. Just tackle everything head on. Uh, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate and just go for it. Is depression an issue within what you do? Um, some, some soldiers uh, do struggle with it. Um, others don't. Uh, it just depends on the person and what, what they've experienced. Uh, everyone's different. But like I said, the lads play a big part. Yeah, everyone sort of binds together and helps each other out. If there's a uh, an ex-military person watching because he's 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 stepped out of it because it was too difficult, do you have a respect for those men that own up to that kind of? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's not a cowardly thing. Um, no, what what we do is a very difficult and challenging job. Uh, it takes a very a very special person to do that. Not everyone can do it. Um, so yeah. Definitely, definitely got respect for them, them guys. If 